Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and I'm trying a new thing today. I'm going to try to go live while I'm doing a recording at the same time. So uh, that's what we. I'm. You know who I am. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. Here uh, we. I bring you fine picks daily here at Pearls of Wisdom Ministries, BPOW edi edition. Um, we're going to go over the games from last night and then we're going to go over the games from that we're going to give you for tomorrow for the fourth. Uh, thought I'd try it this way because I just wanted to see how fun it was. So from now on, if I may do this about 10 o'clock every night, somewhere around there. You can come on live and listen to my picks and comment in the comment section and what have you tried this once before and it seemed to work really well by mistake actually I went live and didn't know I was live and I was on for like an hour and a half and people were just watching me <laughs> do my fix as I did who knows what I just know I never even thought about that who knows what I was doing anyways thank you all for coming over to the patreon and subscribing and uh, we got a whole new group of people over there now if you go over there, and I'll put it in the bio, my Patreon link, uh, you subscribe to the top tier, and uh, I'll, I'll refund you right away. You get a free month to hang out in the land and enjoy the fine programming there. Um, so anybody that's in the live right now, uh, I'm going to be going over and talking on another page. Oh, here, this is what I'll do. I'll set you up here. I'll put on my uh, live. There we go. So I can see if anybody comments. So comment whatever you want. But uh, let's get to it, shall we? We'll look at uh, yesterday's picks. Um, yesterday's picks. How did we do? And they're still on right now. Uh, we had... Maple Leafs and the Oilers. I had the Leafs to win, and we had the under for very small pearls. I shouldn't have. I don't know why I thought that the Oilers might try to win this game, but they didn't even come close. It's a sad state of affairs there in Oilerland. Uh, it was a disaster. First of all, they need a goaltender. They need a second-line center, the Edmonton Oilers, that is. But I won't get too far into that. Besides the fact that we pretty much was a, were a wash here. We didn't bet much on the game anyways. The Blues versus the Ducks. We had medium pearls and a unit on the under. And we got them both. Excellent. By the way, I didn't even mention yesterday. I hit a parlay. So we were up like 12 units yesterday. I hit a parlay on top of all the other stuff that we got yesterday. So uh, we had the Ducks in the under. That gave us... Uh, Say, say if medium pearls, two units, uh, the under is small pearls, so half a unit. So we're up like two and a half units. Mess this one. I didn't even have a bet on this. I didn't have a bet on this game at all. I had it in a parlay, wild PL. That it was not PL. <laughs> Golden Knights won. I don't know what I was thinking. They were tired. They're a hardworking team, but it was asking a lot. I don't know. You know, hindsight, right? But it didn't matter. I, I ruined my parlay on that. Uh, this was a big one for me. And uh, this is going to put us to even back to a wash here. Because I really like the Kings in this game. And they outplayed them. They outshot them like 40 to 22. But Ranta went off. And I was a little worried about that. Because Ranta has a way of doing that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, we ended up getting the under anyways, so that gave us a little bit for small pearls out of that. Uh, Avalanche in reg, we got this so far. Problem is we had the over, so this looks like a wash, assuming that San Jose doesn't come back. It's on right now in the third period. We got this one. We had capitals, medium pearls, and we also had the under. So we're up about three pearls today. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's look at uh, yesterday, yesterday's, uh, or tomorrow's, tomorrow's picks. I'm going to give you tomorrow's picks. Uh, anybody saying anything here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Puck line on Minnesota. Yes, thanks. Ulysses, I know. Okay, I'll talk to you guys after. I'm doing a recording here, and then when I get off, we will converse, okay? But I'm recording this for our fine programmer, our fine listeners 
for a video for tomorrow and I'm doing it live. Okay, so let's go to um, picks for tomorrow. Where are they here? Right here. Okay, picks for tomorrow. You guys get to hear this live, you guys, in the live chat. March 4th, we got Detroit, Carolina. Um, Carolina got some rest. Detroit, as far as I know, doesn't have, don't, uh, uh, doesn't have Larkin. Remember that if you're a Patreon member, I give you updates on injuries and everything daily as they go along. So yes, you're getting your picks right now, but what you hear right now may not be what I pick tomorrow. Happens all the time. I get people writing me all the time. I get your letters. Guido goes down there, get in the mail room and brings them up and we read them all and we very much enjoy them. So please send them. But yes, it, whatever I tell you right now may change tomorrow. That's the reason why you become a Patreon member and I give you a free month. This is early in the month to do it. So I get on it right now. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Philadelphia. Um, I think it's likely that DeSmith might be in net for Pittsburgh. Um, Philadelphia, oh, some major stuff happened. Somebody's on the ground there for Colorado. Uh, Philadelphia will probably go with Elliott. I'm going to roll with Elliott here um, in the Philadelphia Flyers. I don't think Pittsburgh's going to win two games in a row against Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia didn't play bad last time. They were just a little out. They outshot Pittsburgh, but they were Pittsburgh kind of outchanced them. They are, are, are they, are is Philadelphia, Philadelphia is not getting dog money here. So, because Crosby's out. No way, can Philadelphia lose to Pittsburgh twice with Crosby out? I don't think so. Uh, Ethan Locke, okay, whatever, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so I'm going to take Philadelphia ML, and I'm going to lean the under on that game, under six. Winnipeg versus Montreal. I've gone back and forth on this game. But the thing is, Winnipeg had to go a long distance to Montreal. Or is that basically what it is? They did a lot of travel time here. Yeah, from Vancouver all the way, no, from Winnipeg all the way to Montreal. It's not that far. But they're playing three games in four nights. Montreal is fairly rested. I just, the energy for Montreal is not good. I'm going to put a small pearls on this because Winnipeg should be tired. But with the energy we're getting from uh, uh, Montreal right now, I'm a little dicey on it. So I'm going to put small pearls on Montreal to win this game. Uh, but the bigger pearls I'm going to put on this are the under. Because it's a tired team. This new coach is going to be teaching defensive system, defensive system, defensive system. Uh, so I even, you're not getting good enough juice to take Winnipeg PL here. Um, I believe what's the total. Please tell me it's five and I, or six. No, it's not six. I still like the under on that game. And you're getting good juice on the under because these are two high scoring teams. Rangers versus New Jersey. Um, it's going to depend on goaltending on all of these too. There's nothing been really confirmed yet. Um, I don't even like the, the line on this at all. New Jersey should be at a position right now to take this game. Um, my big thing here is the under. Blackwood will be in net. Shesterkin should be in net. Both of these teams, the Rangers play a high tempo game, but New Jersey's not scoring. Um, I'm going to say under five and a half, and I'm going to say, hmm. Jersey ML, just because of the juice you're getting on it. You're getting dog money on New Jersey here. It's almost a coin flip, I think. So Islanders versus Buffalo. I got to take Islanders, uh, probably in reg. Hutton's in net. As long as Hutton's in net, Buffalo's going to have a hard time winning anything. Um, Islanders might even go with Sorokin, and even with Sorokin in, I'm taking them. The thing here is the line is five, and I'm still going to go under on the line because Buffalo can't score with the darn. Uh, the Islanders, even with Hutton and Nett, don't try to outscore their opponents too much. So I'm going to go the under there. Uh, as far as um, Tampa Bay versus Chicago, uh, I got to go Tampa Bay 
on this. Um, they're just rolling right now. Just rolling. I just, you're getting terrible juice. Uh, but I can't not take them, especially if Lankin in his net. Um, or sorry, if uh, not Lankin in, Subban is in net, then I'm definitely going Tampa Bay, probably in reg. You got to get some juice out of that. Otherwise, put it in a parlay. Um, as far as over under is concerned, um, I'm probably, uh, I, what are they giving you on this? We'll see here. We're getting uh, five and a half. Let's go the over on that. Both teams can score. The problem is, are they going to play Vasilevsky? Vasilevsky is just on fire right now. On fire. Um, Chicago might get one past them. It's really close on the on the on on the over under. I'm going to say over. Florida versus Nashville. I'm taking Florida all day. Nashville's pretty much mailed it in. Uh, Saros is injured. They're going with Pecker with Pecker Rene, who is mostly poopy all season. Uh, there's other injuries that have come up with Nashville, which uh, Ellis. Ellis is injured. It sounds like anybody who's got so, a boo boo, they're putting on the injured list right now, uh, because they're pretty much mailing it in. Ryan Johansson's hurt again. Luke Cunning. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much mailing it in. They're telling anybody with a hangnail that you're sitting because they are they are going for the draft pick this year. I'm taking Florida in regulation. What are you getting on this? Look at this. You're getting 1-7. This is my pick of the day. Florida in reg, you're getting 2.5. And, and I don't think Nashville can score enough to, make, to get the line. Uh, Florida might just, you know, blow them right out but I'm probably leaning under something like three nothing four nothing something like that Columbus versus Dallas I'm taking a flyer on Columbus here because you're getting 235 Dallas has been Dallas did play well against Tampa Bay the last game but they have significant injuries and Sagan and Radulov um I wonder if Hudobin's going to be in net. Um, I hopefully they go with Ottinger because they just played Hudobin. Um, the thing is, is I'm really afraid of Columbus with Corpusalo. So you're not getting enough juice. I'm going to lean that Columbus ekes this out, and I'm going to actually go the over on this. The reason why is if I'm wrong about the Columbus pick, I'm it'll be because uh, Corpusalo craps the bed. And uh, Dallas will then um, probably push this to an over, and then you'll get a push. So that's what I'm going on that. Ottawa versus Calgary. Ottawa just flew a long ways to go to Calgary. This is a revenge game for Calgary. Ottawa, last time they played, Calgary blew them out. Before that, Calgary blew Ottawa out. I think this is going to be a closer game. Uh, Murray will be in that, and I really Murray's been very inconsistent. Uh, I almost think they should stick with Decord. The kid did well the last game, but they're probably not going to. They're going to go with their six million dollar guy. Markstrom might be in net, and if Markstrom's in net, I'm going to go because I think this will be what's the total six. I'm going to go under if Markstrom's in net. If Riddich is in net, I'm going to go the over because uh, he's just. It's too inconsistent. Ottawa, Ottawa can then win that game. And that may change tomorrow when we find out who the goaltender is in. But from now on, from right, for right now, I'm taking Calgary ML, probably fading the game because you're getting no juice on Calgary. Toronto, Vancouver. I mean, you got to keep on rolling with Toronto here. But uh, Toronto has played a crap load of hockey. It might be a spot for Vancouver here. Um we don't have any real lines out, though. That's the problem. Uh, I don't know what we're getting on Toronto-Vancouver right now. I do know that Toronto just... Where did they go? Oh, they, they went from Edmonton now to Vancouver. They're the end of that Western road trip. That's a lot of travel. But you know what? It didn't seem to bother them against Edmonton. Um, I'll probably end up taking Toronto at the end of the day. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. I did a quick one for you today. 
get your uh, pearls of net. Ne oh yeah, I forgot to pearl dance. Everybody's writing me, telling me I got a pearl dance, pearl dance, pearl dance. There you go. Get your pearls of wisdom necklaces out, boys and girls, because spring is upon us, and we like to frolic out in the land with our pearls of wisdom necklaces, right? If you don't have one, you just hit the subscribe button. I'll send Hernandez and Melissa. Hernandez, Melissa, say hi. Hi. They go in the Pearlocopter and they'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. So this has been from the basement of my Seattle apartment today. Thank you all for coming in and listening to this fine programming. Put your parlays, comments down there in the comment section. Let's connect, shall we? And uh, hit the uh, get the Patreon. Try it out for free. I'll give it to you for free. You just sign up for the top tier. I'll pay you back right away. And uh, you get a free month. See how you like it. Okay, have a great day, everybody. I'm going to go talk to my live people now. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.